So let us discuss the one more rule on properties of triangles. Cosine rule or law of cosines. So what is the cosine rule? See, in any triangle ABC, A square is equal to B square plus C square minus 2BC cos A, angle A that means B square is equal to C square plus A square minus 2CA cos B. Now easily you can write because this is cyclic order. So C square is equal to a square plus b square minus 2ab cos c. So, this is the cosine rule. So, now let us prove a square is equal to b square plus c square minus 2bc cos a. Similarly, we can prove remaining one also. First, let us prove a square is equal to b square plus c square minus 2bc cos a. So now, proof follows. So any triangle you can consider. It may be acute angle triangle or obtuse angle triangle or right angle triangle. So better acute angle triangle. So let us consider. <coughs> okay. A, B, C. Otherwise, you can strike better like this because we require A, A, B, C. The opposite to the vertex A is small a. Similarly, this small b, small c. A, B, C are the elements of the triangle. Draw perpendicular on A, B, C, C, D. So, this will be length is C. Understood. Suppose, let us say this is h, say this is x, so this will be c minus x. So now draw c d perpendicular on b c. Let us suppose c d is equal to small h, the a d is equal to small x, obviously the b d becomes c minus x since a b is equal to small c. So now, this is also right angle from triangle a c d apply Pythagoras theorem. So here Pythagoras theorem is using Pythagoras theorem A C square is equal to A D square plus C D square. Am I correct? So A C is replaced by B square. A D is X, X square. C D is H, H square. Say this relation is 1. We have one relation. Similarly, you consider another triangle that is B C D triangle. From triangle B C D. Same applying using Pythagoras theorem. Or applying Pythagoras theorem. B C square is equal to C D square, C D square plus B D square. So now B C is nothing but small e, that is A square is equal to 
cd square cd square is nothing but h that is h square plus bd square bd square is nothing but c minus x whole square now we need to establish the relation that is a square is equal to b square plus c square minus 2bc cos c so that means let it be simplified now so as to get the value of a square so this can be written h square plus this is a minus b whole square c square plus x square minus 2 c x you need not get any confusion a minus b whole square formula i have applied here so now so just they are in the terms like this x square plus h square plus c square minus 2 c x see this x square plus h square is b square So, from equation 1, so let it be replaced by b square. So, b square plus c square minus 2 c x. Again, so let us find out uh, here relation between this angle A and x and b. For B, for angle A, this x will be the adjacent side, this is the hypotenuse. So, that means we have the relation cosine. So, let us have here cos A, you define it. Cos A equals to this is AD by AC. AD by AC. So, AD is nothing but x. A is nothing but A C is nothing but B. So if you cross multiply, X is equal to B cos A. It's very important result. Just replace this X for B cos A. What do you get it? B square plus C square minus two C into B cos A. So, this can be written b square plus c square minus 2 b c cos a. Therefore, a square is equal to b square plus c square cos a. Hence, it is for all. Similarly, we can prove we can prove b square is equal to c square plus a square minus 2 b c cos b. c square is equal to a square plus b square minus 2 a b cos c. So, this we can prove it.